So check this out. <coughs> the bridge <coughs> is literally turning. Oh, that is, <coughs> excuse me. That is majorly awesome. I'm gonna try and hold this as steady as possible. That's thousands and thousands and thousands of tons. And there we go. All of it just turning like on a dime. Oh, that is massively awesome. I wish I was on that bridge. That would be so cool. So right now they're turning to let some of these big ships go through, these whaling vessels. I don't know if they're whaling any more uh, fishing vessels. Might be a better idea to call them. We're almost at 90 degrees perpendicular. Oh man. Just a couple of minutes and the whole thing will turn. Like, it's amazing. And we'll, this just opens up the shipping lanes to let one or two ships through at a time. One way in, one way out. Because the center, of course, is what's anchored down and on the bearing. Imagine the sides bearing plates that are under that. Look at that. We'll be driving through that in a second. Here we go, We're coming up on perpendicular. I think they've stopped. That is just amazing to me. Now, let's see if I put you right on in here. I don't know how much of this footage I'm going to use, but would you look at that. Oh, here we go. We're going to see the ship go by on our side. The uh, should be just coming into view now. Oh, cool. So, I mean, that ship definitely would have gotten smacked up, crashed, and damaged, but now it's cutting right through the roadway. You can see the... Uh, Boathouse just barely above the road. Ah, uh, that's a deep sea fisher of some sort. Probably a lobsterman, I would guess. Looking at how that boat's set up for the nets and to bring up the pots. That is the Kells, USS Kells. 129004. Out of New Bedford, Mass. I'm out here today doing some work on my second job. And we're turning. As you know, my primary job's an electrician. My secondary job is a uh, soda technician for a subsidiary of Coke. So, weekends and nights, I go out and play around, fix some bar guns or fountain machines or uh, bag and box or pre post mix systems, whatever. It's a fun gig. It gets me into a lot of places I wouldn't normally be. I mean, look at all that weight being suspended and twisted. When I came across it, I was hoping that I'd get to see it. I just wish I was up front one more car. You don't get to see that every day. That's probably the first time I've ever been able to be this close to one during operation and if we look at the footage marks we'll see how long it takes to turn whole process so far and it just started when I started videoing was uh, five minutes now ten seconds to five minutes so yeah easy Sundays
got to be using hydraulic motors to do that. Gear it way, 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 way down. Maximum torque on bearing plates. And they've stopped without being quite closed. Huh. Can't tell. Oh, it looks like it's still slowly moving. So they'll do fast turn until they get close to it, and then they slow it way down until it locks into place. I guess this must get pretty annoying when you're running late for work. <laughs> now let's see if I can zoom in on the yellow lines there. You can actually see the yellow lines coming back together. Clear the view. Let's see if I can So anyway, don't anyone watch this. Sunday fun day. <laughs>